Hey, friendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. And uh, just like we did when the PWI, what was it, 500? 500, yes. PWI. For the dudes, we're going to do it for the women because the PWI women dropped today. <laughs> what is it? PWI 250. There Why do go. they only get 250? Yeah, Larson? that's lame. That'd be 500. My goodness gracious. They can't five, five, find 500 professional wrestling women across the world. I don't know. Anyways, last time I was on the hot seat, I didn't do terribly well when I was trying to guess who who was in the top 10. So today, Larson, you're going to have the chance to prove that yours is superior. So I'm looking. I I, I have the uh, the original video up. You got three correct. But I don't know if we included Cody because you knew Cody was number one. Yeah. OK. Th I think I got three correct that I had not been that had not there been we spoiled. Go. So me. full disclosure. You, the, I, I found out this list was out because I saw a, a bunch of people saying that Tony Storm was number one. So right, I know Tony yeah. Storm is number one. That's that's your gimme, absolutely. Also, full disclosure, in my defense, I did bring up several names that were on it and elected not to choose those names because I'm a big dummy. That's correct. Do you happen to know? No, I'm not saying that you're, the dummy part is correct. I'm no, you're you, right. You're you right chose, about that. You brought up names that didn't choose to, to officially select them. That part was correct. Yeah. I'll leave it to I anybody. sitting there like, I don't know, James Ellsworth. You know? I'll leave it to anybody's interpretation whether you're a dummy or not. I don't think yeah. you're a dummy. Well, you probably should. That makes you a dummy for not thinking I'm a dummy. Uh, Anyways, I Larson, I'm a dummy. anything else you'd like to say before you, I, got to, you get started? You have to know what the evaluation period. Probably the same as yeah, it always is. Like oh, yeah. Summer. No, it says right here. It All says right. right here. October 1st. Oh, October 1st. To September 30th. 2023 to 2024. All right. Yes. So I did I did a small amount of preparation. I just what? Looked to, I just looked to see who was champions during the evaluation period. That's all I did. I thought this was Frendo Club, not I'm trying to be smart guy club. Hey, I'm always trying to be smart guy because I know I'm a big dummy. All right, big dummy. You ready to get this going? Sure, let's go. All right. Uh, so yeah, you just tell me, you give me names. I get three and strikes I, and I get, if I get it right, I get a point. If I get it wrong, eh. right. Strike. All right. I mean, this is my brutality. Rhea Ripley's got to be on there. Uh, let's see here. Yes. Rhea Ripley chimes in at number three, number three Correct. for Rhea Ripley. Okay. Yes. Um, so EO was champion for a good chunk of the evaluation period. So I'll say EO sky. Uh, EO's not on there? EO's number 13, big dummy. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Take it up with uh, Bob Insider. <laughs> well, that threw me for a loop. Oh, now you're rattled. So I got one rattled strike. All right. Um, gosh. Come on. You'll get these other ones, man. Uh, Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace is number two. Number two. All right. So I got Very one. Good. So one, two, three. You got one, two, three. Baby. Um, gosh, why? Is, how is Eo not in the top ten? Oh, you're shaking. You're shaking. That seemed like a gimme. I don't want to tell you, man. I don't want to tell you. I mean, she was. She's been champ for two years. Athena. Uh, Athena is number ten. How is she only number ten? Oh, I don't know. Because they're big dummies over there, apparently. Um, what about Roxanne Perez? Uh, she is number 11. Uh, two strikes, my friend. Right now you're sitting at one, two, three. Well, you give me you, 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 one more. Your best of my you. score. Uh, I think Willow was TBS champ during that stretch. So Willow Nightingale. You have bested my score. Well done. You're sitting at four now. Hmm. But with two strikes. So I got a couple. Gosh. Why go? Mm. I mean, Bailey won the Rumble. She was champion a good chunk during that stretch. I'll say Bailey. Very good. Bailey is on the board. Where? What? Got what number? Five is, now. What number was Bailey? Sorry, she's number seven. All right. So I have one, two, three, seven, ten. Seven, eight, seven, ten. Eight, seven, eight, ten. So I need four, five, six. Correct. Gosh. Um, what about Julia? Is Julia on there? Julia's not even in the top 20. Wow. 
What about yeah, uh, what about yeah, Becky Lynch? Strikes. Is Becky Lynch on the top ten? No, Becky Lynch is not. Well, she a was top NXT 10. champion. And I'll right. be honest. I'll be honest, champion. man. This, this is kind of a tough list here, man. You want you want you want me to give you is number my, four? Is Mayu Iwatami in the top ten? Uh, no. Huh? Oh, all right. All right. Who's who's? Uh, no, she's number fourteen. She's number fourteen. All right. Who's four, five, six? All right. Number four. I'll be honest with you, Lars. I don't even know who this person is. Maka. Or Micah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, number five, NXT's latest, brightest star, Stephanie Vacour. All right. All right. Number six, you'll know her for having probably the best missile drop kick. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then number nine, Mariah May. Yeah, I thought about Mariah May, too. Mm-hmm. She didn't win mm-hmm. the title till August, though, so I didn't know if that was... I know she went a lot before then, but Becky Lynch was actually at number seventeen. I didn't know that's that interesting that because now. she. I mean, there are brief title reigns, but she was NXT Women's Champion and uh, World Women's Champion during the evaluation. She period. was, she was. So here's here's uh, from twenty to one. Number twenty. Let's see if I can see if I can pronounce this correctly. Oh boy, Lyria. Lyria Valkyria. You know how to say it. You know how to pronounce it. Rhea. Number 19, uh, Mayu Yamashita. Mm-hmm. Number 18, Mio Watanabe. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 17, Becky Lynch. Number 16, Mina Shirakawa. See, I'm not familiar with the stardom stuff, so I don't know what people are doing over there. I ain't got time in my day to watch other stuff. Mm. I barely have time to watch NXT these days. Number 15, Masha Slamovich. Number 14, we already mentioned Mayu Iwatani. And number 13, Eo Sky. Number 12, watch me. Liv watch Morgan. Me. Watch me. How was Eo only 13? Uh, she was champion from SummerSlam to WrestleMania. Maybe she didn't. She probably didn't defend it that much. I don't know. I, I think that's the okay. case. What didn't, wasn't hers like, oh man, Eo's champion, that's great. But man, they don't really do a lot with I her. I don't remember, but. I mean, her the primary thing I think was just a story with Bailey, where she was like, you know, just dogging Bailey the whole time. Off the check I on think. her win loss record during that stretch. It's probably not. It's probably not great for her for Bob Insider to only be uh, putting her here at number thirteen. So yeah, I mean, you should be happy. You, you bested my score. This is a tough list. This is a tough deal here. Yeah. If you'd have busted out with Micah, Micah. Yeah. I'd that, have been like, holy crap, you are the pro wrestling insider. Or you would accuse me of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, you know what? You know what, man? I don't do that shit, all right? I don't accuse you of cheating. You think it, think though. I can tell you way. think it. I don't think nothing. I'm barely thinking what time of day it is right now. Anyways, uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the pro wrestling insider top 20. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There you go. The top two fifty. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. See, I'm looking below. here. Uh, the January fifth, uh, you defeated Meechin for the women's title on SmackDown. Okay. Well, there you go. Are you on cage match right now? I am. Matches. Let's see here. There's a. I need a tag custom match date she range. Was in. She defeated Charlotte Flair October twentieth. Let's see here. Bianca Belair at SummerSlam. Defeated Asuka Smackdown. on the SmackDown. She was, she was defeated on the next SmackDown in a tag match. She But title defenses, she defeated Zelina. Yeah. Asuka. Yeah. Asuka's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, but then but then here's the thing. Then Asuka and Charlotte beat Bailey and Geo Sky in a tag match. Tag match. That doesn't count. Uh, does only TV count? I don't know. EO Sky beat Charlotte. Uh, I'm saying when it comes to title defenses, uh, she she had a, a decent number of them and won them all. All right, so here's the deal, though. Hold on a second. Between, uh, what is this, October 20th, I'm sorry, yeah, October 20th, 2023, which is before, yeah, no, yeah. This is between, what is it, October 1st of 2023? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so between that date... She had on television, anyways. Uh, she beat Charlotte. 
Um, she beat Meechin. She lost at War Games with the rest of Damage yeah, Control. That's, that's tag match, that's whatever. She beat. Well, Naomi. no, it's gonna. It's not. I don't. I think it's like that. All counts to the record. Uh, she made it to the finals of the Queen of the Ring tournament, not even after losing the title. Maybe she beat Naomi on SmackDown. I mean, we're already deep into 2024. Yeah, she did not have she did not have a lot of matches, dude. I'm saying that she's champ most of the time. She should should have been top ten. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is like legitimately. I think they key. I think they actually track records and stuff, don't they? These freaking guys. I don't know. What is the thing criteria? Okay, yeah, in ring achievement, win loss records. Tournaments won. She didn't win a tournament. She got far in a tournament. She didn't win a she tournament. Finished, she finished second in tournament. Uh, also, influence, visibility, and prestige within a promotion. Pfft, she's tops. Yeah. Competition, success against the most varied and high quality opponents. You should be Charlotte. Yeah, but then she had like Zelina Vega. And I love Mi Chin, don't get me wrong. She's great, but like she's never really booked really strong. Well, I don't disagree with any of that, but she also beat Charlotte, who was like tops. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Anyways, that's not my list. I'm not Bob Insider. I'll take that up with Bob Insider. You should have been top 10. You need to write a sterling rewarded email. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Write lots of comments. Hit like. Yeah, lot, lots of comments, lots of likes. Please, thank you.